I would never say I'm equal to a better than Jehovah without me having to settle in. They don't get me. These bitches is moving iffy. And I be leaving places that probably and never miss me. Mm. I don't beef with people when they from my own city. Cause the Uber would be cheaper if you wrote it home with me. Let's talk about the budgets. These niggas will really cut it. They're telling you that they'll come and discussing it with you later. Here, let's talk about it. Think. Let's just talk about Monopoly. Cuban Link, but now you renting all your property. Get net worth shit. Checks don't hit. Baby mother trash. Only like her cause her neck work lit. Look. You know, up in here, ladies and gentlemen. We got a real MC up in here. Funny thing when you racing to get it in, people give direction to places they never been. Plate latency never ends. No one you would get to sit in some spaces they never can. But I learned to turn a hundred wishes to a hundred. <clears throat> well, hello and welcome back to my Indigo Mind. This is your host, Tashiana. Okay, and I am back with another video. And today's one, and we are talking about. Kwamisha, Quinn Kay's life, what's tea, what's going on, girl? Hey, so, I got a little bit of tea, right, okay? The VP of the nation makes sure she's on all things for me. Thank you, Ladonna Rule, and she makes sure, honey, that she keeps me all the tea, pipe and hot, but she was busy yesterday, but I have come to bring it to you today. <laughs> Let me tell you, right? God don't like ugly and he don't play about me. Okay? So, see, when you hateful like that, nothing good really happens in your life. You know, bringing down other black women, talking about people, having all this, you know, a uh, 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 so-called dignity in your trailer park, all of the things, honey, you decided to come on once again, okay, on these trailer park chronicles, and um, release that, yes, I regret to inform you that Matthew is a drunk, but we knew that, because y'all both are, that's not alleged, it's what it is, um, these Hennessy nights and vodka days are becoming a little bit too frequent. Okay. I was you would do something. I got that shit on video. Okay, so let's get into it. All right. So she decides to come on Henny and divulge some things. Okay, and lets us know that when 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 Matthew gets a little alky, he puts his hands on. There you go. Y'all probably can't see him in his truck calling me a bitch to his mama. So he lit up a cigarette. Tell mama bitch. <clears throat> go ahead, call me what you want to call me. You just put your hands on me, put your hands around my neck, just choke me. Okay, I'm gonna have bruises on my neck when I go to work tomorrow. Yeah, walk away from the truck because you know. I'm recording you. Someone recorded you. Who recorded me doing what? But they put their hands on each other because, as we know, I've already uncovered the fact that these two have very extensive records, okay? You know, spanning anywhere from uh, controlled substances in their possession to domestic violence situations to telling each other they're going to unalive each other, okay? So, um, I'm bringing you another edition of Trevor. He was supposed to be making dinner anyway, and he said he want to fight with me. There he is. There he is. Keep on lying. The only person you can lie to is your mama. Keep on lying to her. I don't care. Because he's a big-ass liar. You sit here and put your hands around my neck. Put your hands around my neck. I just can't really see him. But there he is. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, go ahead and keep talking crap. Lie. Scratched up my hand. <clears throat> then threw me to the ground. My head is killing me now. I'm gonna have a headache when I go to work tomorrow. Okay. Okay. And he gets mad because he was acting erratic and acting crazy <clears throat> and being irrational. And I know how he gets when he gets really drunk. He hasn't been this way in such a long time because I put out, like, I was like, no, we're not having alcohol in the house for a long time. But he gets very frustrated really easily and he will not sit there and calm down. 
And it's like, no, you have to have patience with children and you have to have patience with everybody. You cannot sit there and jump off zero to 100 because he likes to act erratic. He acts crazy. And I'm not going to put up with an abusive husband. I'm not. You're not going to abuse me. You're not. He's talking more crap because he can wife and said he'd like to whine like a big ass baby. Don't adults talk to their wives or husbands? Don't they do that? No, they don't just go calling their mommies and their daddies and complaining like big ass bitches. Bitch, you about two, 300 damn pounds. You short as fuck. I guess maybe that's what it is. He got short man syndrome. He got short man syndrome. That's what it is. Don't marry a short guy. Marry a tall guy because short guys have short man syndrome. Big ass bitches. Yeah. Yeah, get in your car, go ahead and crank it up or whatever and leave. Do whatever you need to do. Sit back, yeah, because you know I'm recording. Because you're a nosy-ass motherfucker. Because no matter how much shit you talk, you freak out if you know you're going to lose me. He literally freaks the fuck out. Because when he was trying to call me a whore, I was like, okay, I'll be a whore. I'll do what I want to do. I'll F anybody. Yeah. Okay. More wine afternoons. Um... You heard it here first. So she complains, right? He's always calling his mom. And I'm too sexy. <laughs> Stop the call right there, sis. I won't have it. You're not going to start out lying and just throwing stuff out there just for views. We're not going to do that. Now, you, you ain't ugly. Okay? But I wouldn't go as far as sexy. But continue. Wait, I want him to look. So, F... <clears throat> Do that. No, can't do it now, can you? Forget I'm a social media figure? I will put your ass on blast. I don't care who you are, how close you are to me. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you guys the funniest part. He says, gonna tell me. He pretty much likes the fish over me. He cares more for the... He choked me out over the damn fish. What the fuck? Like, he choked me more than once, but one of the times was over the damn fish. <sighs> Crazy as hell. Crazy. I can have so much better. The type of body, the type of physical I want to be, the type of success that I want to be is not him. And he clearly is not trying to grow. So, <laughs> let's see how long this shit lasts. Oh. He chose me. I did not want to be with him. Until he turned his light on so you can see him in there. And he wants that like I'm the biggest hoe, right? Biggest hoe, and I've been this, I've been an honest wife. He's not my type, but I'm trying to make this family work. I'm trying to be the perfect wife. Not perfect, because I don't like doing dishes, but I'm trying to be a good person, the best person I can be for you, okay? F you. Forget you. I don't I don't give a damn. I really don't. Yeah. Sit there and smoke. No, call your mom again. You were just talking shit, right? <laughs> but sorry, I cannot be perfect. And I will not try to be perfect. He's not perfect. He's not who I want to be. He chose me. I did not want to be with him. And abuse my kids. You're not going to do any of that stuff. You're not going to do that. <clears throat> and he hasn't abused the kids or anything. So he just asked me if I had a good video. Yeah, I'm going to keep going. Because <clears throat> he got mad. You know why he got mad? Because I poured out his alcohol. Because I poured out his alcohol. Like, you're too old for that. You're damn near 30 years old. Grow the fuck up. Yeah, he's over there listening to me, probably. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I really don't. I've been only, like, for him. All for him. Put up He's not even my first choice. He was not even someone I wanted to be with or marry. And abuse my kids. You're not going to do any of that stuff. You're not going to do that. When I said that, then you want to choke me out and be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, freaking the fuck out. Like, don't do that shit. Like, okay. <laughs> Should have recorded him coming up here admitting and calling me a bitch. Yeah, go up in the house. Go up in the house. Yeah, I locked it. What? I wouldn't come out here and smoke a cigarette without locking my kids in there to make sure they're safe. <laughs> Dumbass. Oh, he gonna go. Oh, oh, I forgot to tell you. He came over here accusing me of taking his car keys. How were you in your truck if I had your car keys? Like, bro, are you serious? How? 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 How, how were you in your truck? You gonna sit there and say you weren't in your truck? <laughs> you weren't in your truck. I just recorded you. I'm so glad I recorded this. I'm so glad I recorded. He's a lying ass motherfucker. You were just sitting in your truck. How'd you get in your truck if you did not lock... You know what I'm saying? You had your keys. What? 
Oh, I hope you didn't. If you did lose your keys, that's why he needs a wife because he don't know how to do shit. That's why he calls his mama. He don't know how to do shit. He don't know how to do his own fucking taxes. He has his daddy do his fucking taxes. I know. I I know how to do that. You don't know how to do your own damn taxes. You almost damn thirty older than me, bitch. You can't do your own taxes. You don't lost your damn keys at like a damn fool trying to choke me. Yeah, that part you can choke me out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can choke me out. But uh, he can't keep it, uh, his own damn car keys, and he keep his keys in his damn pocket. It's probably one of his pockets be so drunk he can't fucking find them. Stupid bitch. Well, I swear, bro. I never wanted my life to be dramatic and shit like this. But I married the wrong one, clearly, and I knew not to marry him. I knew like to choke me out to make sure I don't leave. Like what, bitch? What the fuck is wrong with you? There you go. You gonna come over here and cuss me out. There you see him bouncing. Come on, cuss me out as usual. I knew you know when you don't marry somebody, but then look what I did. I jumped the gun and I did. And that was dumb as hell. And I don't know how much it costs to get a divorce, but good God. And the way he in the trailer park. Anyway, you gonna choke me out, but you can't uh you can't do your own damn taxes. You need your mommy and your daddy. Well, at least you don't need his mommy and his daddy to choke at that part. <laughs> he so he's over here trying to come. He's calling the cops. Cussing. Coughing because he got COPD probably. Man, sorry, bitch ass. Because oh, he's done such shit. But yet I have to have I have to have a job. I have a job and a business. He doesn't know how to run that. He has his mommy and daddy do his taxes. I told him I said, call him. I'm out here smoking my cigarette. Oh, see, so I'm I can't be a good person. Oh, oh. The way he's fussing that bitch ass ain't even on the phone with the police. He's scared of the police. You know why? Because this bitch ass. Yo, I'm telling you, I'm going to expose it. I'm going to expose it. I don't want to expose it because I'm still up in this marriage. But <laughs> even though I wasn't a part of it, but shit. I'm trying to be a good person. Because people be telling me all this shit. And I be sitting there whole night everybody shit. But his bitch ass want to be exposed? I'll expose your ass. Okay, so he's over here bamming on the door. And he's like, I'm going to have to call the cops because she won't. She won't. I lock the door. I lock the door every single time I come out the house to smoke a cigarette. I make sure both doors are locked. And I come out and my car is always facing the house because I make sure that my kids are safe. Anybody try these doors, I'm right here to get somebody. Okay? My kids are going to be locked in the house. Yes, they are. Only for the few minutes that I'm going to be outside smoking a cigarette. You know what I'm saying? Right now they're sleeping. He's in here bamming on the door. And then he's doing a little light knock. And he's calling his mom because who tells the cops that they're about to call the cops? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway. Because he knows he's in the wrong. And if he called the cops, he's the one going to jail. right now and i should call the cops but <laughs> what they gonna do <laughs> what they gonna do anyway so um yeah he's over here fussing he's the one who lost his keys so i stole his keys i stole your keys i bet you were in your truck how'd you get in your truck if i stole your keys i haven't even close to you to get your keys how am i gonna get your keys how and another thing, my kids know not to open the door. I tell them all the time. First of all, they should be sleeping. He should not be knocking on the door, banging on the door, and uh, getting them to wake up to get and open the door. As a parent, you do not want your children to open the door, even for you. Unless, you know, they're looking through the window and you're like, hey, baby, open the door for me. It's mommy. I, you know, it's different. But bamming on the door, knocking on the door. He stopped knocking right now. You're in a drunken rage right now. No, I'm not going to do that. You're being very um, irate and obnoxious, and I'm not going to do that. You've been putting your hands on me. He may be glad that I'm not strong as him, or I would beat his ass. I would beat his ass for him putting his hands on me. Yes, I would. I would self-defend. Yes, I would. But I can't because he's stronger than me, even though he's, he's fatter than me, too. But he's stronger than me, unfortunately. But he tries to use that to his advantage. And we haven't had a fight like this in so long, and yet he wants to maybe he figured out his keys were in one of his 17 pockets so he opened it up but then I come over here can you open the door for me can I get the key to open the door like no because you're gonna lock me out because you're so I had his car keys right so where the fuck is he at 
I had his car keys, but he's not here. Okay, stupid ass. The drunk ass lost his damn keys. I can't stand that, I swear to God, bro. I'm too fucking young, and too fucking hot, and too fucking sexy to sit here and put up with some bullshit. I really am. We're Yeah. Where's he at? I'm trying not to show you the other cars, but it's too late. Where's he at? But I stole his keys, right? But he was able to leave. Uh, but I'm too good for this. And I gotta go through this. And this is that my over. <laughs> Mind you, while sitting out in the car when she reiterates going out to have a cigarette. Well, I'll be damned. Well, look the fucky here. Okay? Because if I'm not mistaken, is this not the same person that talk about other people that smoke? But not only did you go outside, bro. I went outside to have a cigarette and I locked the door with the kids inside. Hmm. So who wants a kid? You are not supposed to leave them kids locked inside their house. None of them are old enough to be home alone, let alone locked in there while you and their father are out there having ghetto ass fights, uh, 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 yelling at each other. You got the window down, he and his car telling his mama. I'm trying to see where on what planet do you two have any room to give any reaction, commentary, advice, on anything. Oh, I thought you were supposed to speak to your wife. You are. I mean, in a normal relationship, you sit down and have a conversation about these things. Um, you know, it's uh, it's giving very much what's love got to do with it. Um, right skin edition. But, um, baby, I need you to get your life, okay? First and foremost, this internet shit is not that deep. Now, I don't like you. Let's be very clear about that. But I also am not a fan of seeing people of my complexion go down this rabbit hole and say, you are on your way, okay? And you, you out here looking crusty. So if I could give you any advice, it would be to stop posting all of your shenanigans and expecting people not to say anything about them especially when they're as ratchet as your situation and you're as vocal as you are on your other platform now this is Quanisha Quinn K's life okay this is Quinn of the Clout Chasers okay now mind you this is the same bitch that said I've been alive for months when she was prego and her man was nowhere be, to be found because he was locked up, she put him there, okay? Then she lied talking about he was in the service. Industry, bitch, you talk about like McDonald's and Burger King, you tried it. Um, and after that, when he finally came out, baby, y'all talked about moving from a seven bedroom house. Why for you lying? I know what I said, I said why for because at this point you could have just kept the buck fitty a stack and said look we modest we live in a modest home we're a modest family I'm very frugal I don't like to spend with the I don't like to spend and that's how you would have came into the game but no your ass wanted to be over on that page coming down so hard on women that look just like you and not in a manner in which you're giving advice, not in a manner where you would just be hateful. And now look, mm, mm, mm. so sad. Poor little Tink Tink. I, what I need for you to do, I need, girl, I need, I need, I need for you to get your life together. That's what I need. Because <laughs> this is just too mad, Chenny. Like, this what you want for your girl? <laughs> uh, like, I'm not walking around bruised, honey. All of my skin is the same complexion. My daughter feels loved, protected, honored, um, you know, play with her daddy always playing with her. I'm talking about, like, dolls, tea time, daddy get down there on the floor with her, all that. All that. 
But meanwhile, you're scared to let your husband back in the house with your sleeping children after he's been banging on the door, knowing full well they're in there sleeping. What type of man do you have raising your girls? Is that the type of man you want around your children? Because, you know, between the record and, you know, his violent outbursts, and um, his slight, like, mental disorder, allegedly. Um, and you seem a little off, too. Like, you got, like, different, like, personalities or something. <laughs> <Beats good. laughs> Baby, as hard as you are, people, the way you ran to the internet the other day when you found out that Chrissy and her dude may have had an issue, how the Jubilee was right across your face when you decided to become messy boots. And now look at you. Hmm? Not a boots made for walking, huh? Damn. And you went and got and, and, and spent that whole twenty dollars on that way, and, and now look what you're going through. I understand, cause you know money don't grow grow on trees. It just it just don't, okay? But baby, <laughs> just a little tea. Oh yeah, you heard it from me, okay? My Instagram, mine. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And while you are at it, tell me what you think down in the comments, darling. And oh, and oh, Quinn, girl, I'm really not excited about this because like yourself, I don't like when women get hurt. I do not find pleasure in when someone uh, of male uh, 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 origin, honey, puts his hands on a female, your bitch made Matthew, and somebody needs to be dressed. Okay, you need to get that brother over there that y'all try to deny that you related to to come lay the hands. Mm. Okay, because ain't no way it would have made it to the internet without his eye being the same color as my goddamn hand. Okay, or my neck or wherever he decided to put his hand. Okay, yeah, okay, I got that. I got that to do. So, Tell me what you think. Again, ring link that link. Okay, that notification bell and set it to all. So you know when I post it. Later for now. Bye. Say I'm equal to a better than Jehovah without me having to settle in. They don't get me. These bitches is moving iffy. And I be leaving places that probably and never miss me. Mm. I don't beef with people when they from my own city Cause the Uber would be cheaper if you rode it home with me Let's talk about the budgets, these niggas will really cut it They're telling you that they'll come and discussing it with you later Here, let's talk about it, think, let's just talk about Monopoly Cuban link, but now you renting all your property Your net worth shit, checks don't hit Baby mother trash, only like her cause her net worth lit Look. up in here, ladies and gentlemen We got a real MC up in here uh. Funny thing when you racing to get it in People give direction to places they never been Plate, latency never ends, knowing you would get to sit in some spaces they never can. But I learned to turn a hundred wishes to a hundred.